I am completely finished my teaching contracts, uh, but I have not been making videos in the meantime, so that means I've got a pile of mail. I did organize these things uh, at some point into sort of themes, but that organization had uh, gone. So, welcome to Mailbag. First one up is this one here, uh, $21.60. Uh, the dates are actually going to uh, stop appearing here. Uh, and by the way, we are October 20th, just to show you uh, how long it's been since these things have been sitting here. So yeah, the date stopped because, yeah, I just didn't have time to deal with this stuff. Oh, this is tiny. So I knew that I ordered this. I just didn't expect it to be that small. Oh my god. So what this is, is this is for a wintertime project. That is so cool. So these are HDMI uh, flex cables. I didn't know what length I needed, so I've got three lengths here. And then uh, they're the HDMI, here's the other end of them, uh, at various angles. That is really cool. And so you just sort of... I think you just open these black tabs, sort of like that. Then you can slide the HDMI cable in, sort of like that, and then you pinch this shut. And then you make custom ends. Now, they sell them with all sorts of ends, and, and it just depends what angle you want. You see the this one's a 90 degree sort of this way, this is a 90 degree uh, sort of the other way. And this is this one is on the side and that one's on the other side. So I got a few to experiment with. I'm not sure which ones I will need, but I find these things super cool. And actually I did make a mistake because I actually need some different ones than these. But either way, like this is this is awesome. These work just how I expected them to work. So yeah, you just make two ends sort of like this. like so, and you close this up. And there we go, we've got an HDMI cable. Really cool stuff. I didn't expect them to come in a little box like this. And this was wildly expensive, but it's because I need internal uh, HDMI cabling on a wintertime project. So yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Um, this project, uh, because I've decided that uh, projects need to be worked on publicly because I do tend to disappear when I have projects That's cool that ribbon cable is actually backwards. See there's one Contact here and one contact on the other side uh, Will be on my streaming channel uh, se made a stream And so if you guys want to see that make sure to pop over there. But yeah, this was kind of expensive you buy all the p pieces separately so it was $21, but it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces uh, plus the shipping. So pretty neat. I like it. I know for sure that this one is related to the uh, HDMI, so might as well open this now. Um, LCD modules. Uh, and in fact, I think there's only one LCD module. And the crazy thing about this LCD module, I paid $35.39 for it. And that's when um, Ali was having one of their sales. And so it's actually much more expensive now if you want one. Uh, so I will put a link in the description. I really should have ordered two at that price. Oh my God, this is way bigger than I thought. So this is a, a seven inch LCD. Um, I went for the higher end has accessories. I went with the higher end um, LCD. This is an IPS panel. Warning, to avoid suffocation. Oh, that's okay, I probably won't suffocate. Oh, one of the things poked through. So this is actually, so yeah, it's a, let, me, let me start off. It is a seven inch LCD. Don't know if it's going to be reflective. Uh, it's big and heavy. Wow, really thick. Um, but yeah, it's the IPS panel, so it should be very pretty. Um, the colors should be really deep and stuff. And it has HDMI interface, hence 
my HDMI cables. It has come with uh, USB. Oh yeah, USB as well because it's touch. And yeah, it came with HDMI cable. It's very nice. Won't fit inside of an enclosure like I want, so that's why I got that. There's little buttons there that I'll have to reroute to outside because this will be inside of a module. Uh, that's going to be really cool to play with. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put on here to display and show you folks, but um, something nonetheless. Really cool. Hey, hey, I got it working. So this is the Raspberry Pi. It's a Pi 3, which a viewer sent me, which is what this project will be running on. But I wasn't able to get it running with the um, HDMI cables that I bought. I'm just going to have to see if reseeding these will work. Uh, I think it should work. It's just, you know, probably need to reseat these things. Or maybe I got a bad flex. I don't know. But with the stock cable, there we go. Touchscreen is working. Um... This is actually a file that was sent to me by, you know, the patron, or I don't know if he's a patron, but anyways, the viewer who sent me the pie. Oh. So I'm just going to peel this off. Beauty. Look how pretty that, that is. So that's the terminal. I am getting a lightning bolt because I'm powering both the Raspberry Pi and this off of the... Um, uh, off of a Apple charger, so it's not quite powerful enough. But yeah, this does work. Close this. That is neat. I can't tell you how good this looks. Uh, and this is the high resolution version. It is uh, 12, uh, 1024 by 600 pixels. And uh, yeah, if maybe if I pick the right uh, mailbag items from my pile, uh, you'll know exactly what I am building uh, over the winter, uh, but maybe not. We'll see. It might take you a couple mailbag episodes to figure it out, but uh, basically I, I will be live streaming them, uh, the the design of the build uh, on SE Made a Stream, my electronics-related live stream channel. So I hope to catch you there, but yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Looks like this worked just fine. Next one up, we have this one here. Uh, August 25th to September 12th, $5.80. Oh, this is another part that is related to the winter project. So I did sort these properly, it seems. Going to be quite a few parts of this. Uh, this is just, these are parts I ordered for testing. I'm not sure if these will make the final build, but at the very least, you guys will have a better idea of what I'm getting at here. My god, there's so much bubble wrap, I feel like I'm going to damage, I'm going to damage the parts that are inside. There we go, there's one, and there's two. I feel like I do need to zoom you in though, so let's do that. Alright, what are these? Well. Oh, oh, there's little screws. Oh, God. I may have lost one. Nope, there's the other one. All right. These are aftermarket replacement joysticks for Nintendo Switch. Oh, I actually don't like the feel of this. This doesn't feel great. Um... I was looking for some small, low-profile joysticks. Maybe I'll use this for my first build, my first uh, prototype, but maybe I won't. So basically this is just a um, basically two-axis joystick. So you got the X, you got the Y, and then you've got the clicky. Don't know if you can hear that or not. But yeah, these are uh, from Nintendo Switch. They're aftermarket, these, of course. But I figured these would make a nice little uh, joystick to go in there. And hopefully they'll work just fine. Um, I do have some of these connectors on order. I found the connectors that, that go on this. And yeah, basically this is part of the winter project. So this would be the very same thing as those Arduino 
type joysticks, but a lot more low profile, which is what I was looking for. But, you know, I don't know if I really like this. I may have to get something like in a PlayStation. Something more like this. I think I like the feel of that a lot better compared to this. But I was trying to make something relatively compact. Huh. I have some thinking to do because this, this feels a million times better than this. So, hmm. I'm going to have to do some thinking. But anyways, these were not very expensive. Um, something's up with the pricing on AliExpress because uh, there's shipping combinations. But for whatever reason, well, one of the screws went flying, so that sucks. Um, but for whatever reason, we don't get the true pricing on our orders because, you know, there's discounts after the fact. So, yeah, these aren't very expensive, but I don't know. I'm glad I have them. I just feel like I might go with something a little bit more like this. What do you think? I have a feeling I have to stay zoomed in for this one. Um, August 25th ordered, September 12th arrived, $2.41. Uh, I'm going to have to do extra effort to try to keep in frame. Look at that. It's all been for the winter project. That's awesome. These here are the, um, oh, oh boy, the flat flex connectors needed for those Nintendo Switch uh, joysticks. So yeah, absolutely tiny little buggers. And they will solder down, probably with solder paste and a hot plate. So yeah, even, you know, I thought I would be able to work with this, but this pin pitch is so tiny that maybe I will end up going with a much bigger connector in the end uh, and a bigger joystick. Because even though I might be able to make it work, I kind of like my projects to be repeatable by the average person. So it does mean I wasted a little bit of money, but it might be a learning experience nonetheless. So yeah, flat flex connectors. And the last of the electronics things, I've got a tool afterwards uh, if you want to stick around, is this guy. This is a USB pen tablet. This is for uh, writing freehand on uh, your computer. I don't know how good it is. Uh, it was on a ridiculous sale on Prime Day or pre-Prime Day or whatever the hell. Um, basically, uh, now that I am unemployed as of tomorrow, or as of the end of today, I guess, already, um, I want to do my Circuit Basics uh, course. And with that, I like to be able to draw diagrams and stuff. Uh, it might just all be on the computer. I'm not sure if there'll be some practical stuff here. Uh, but I kind of want to make, you know, little drawings, notes, annotations, whatever. And also for my uh, Dan Fixes Car content, Cars content, which is going to be basically automotive courses and stuff. Uh, I'm also going to want to do that. So yeah, this is a pen tablet. Ooh, it is thin. So first of all, I wanted a big one and this is a big one. Now they tell you the size online, but you don't really get a, an idea for how big this is until you actually have it in front of you. Not very heavy. I think it's uh, it's not wireless though. You have to be plugged in, which is uh, perfectly fine for me. I do prefer wired things to wireless things. There we go. That's nice. So I think that's this is actually a protective cover on top. So that's good. Please remove the protector. Yeah. You should actually put this in the corner so it actually lifts up. The the protector you nub so remove that and uh, unfortunately I'm not really set up to take a look at uh, take a look at computer plugged in things so I'm really not sure how I'm going to test it and of course I buy with such confidence off Amazon because I know that if it's junk I can always just send it back mind you these days been taking me so long to get through my mail that I may not have enough time to send it back. Uh, so there's the pad. 
looks pretty good. It's very small, has USB-C, has a little place for a lanyard. And let's see, there's accessories. Okay, interesting. So it's got, ooh, interesting. Oh yeah, you can plug this into your phone apparently too. So there's USB-C to USB-3. And there's a micro USB to USB 3. Here's the pen, and I don't know what this collar is for. So the pen, the stylus, I guess. Oh, it's got two buttons. And two. And it should have. Ooh. I don't know if it slides very well. So I I guess this is rechargeable. How does it how does it know these button presses? There's nowhere to charge this. Does, does it need batteries? I don't know. That doesn't fit over this, so I don't know what this is for. Uh, this here is the USB 2 to USB C. And a bunch of little nibs for the uh, tip of the stylus. Oh, is this, a, this might be a tool to grab the stylus out and pull it. Okay. Interesting. Uh, does it need... Oh, that is not English. Oh, here it is English. Okay, stylus, wired connection. Wireless, I don't have it. Okay. Press and hold the power key of pen tablet. And then download and install driver. Okay. And that's it. There's there's really nothing in here. There's different languages and stuff. Okay. Well this is uh this is what I'm gonna be using to make some educational content. Uh if you guys are excited for that, let me know in the comments below. Um, the electronic stuff will show up on this channel. The automotive stuff will be on Dan Fixes Cars. Probably will take a while for each episode because I plan on making a companion article on uh, my website, which will be simpleelectronics.ca for the uh, the electronic stuff and danfixescars.com for the uh, automotive stuff. But yeah, I'm going to take unemployment in stride and uh, try to be more productive. Hopefully you'll join me for that. Next one up is this one here, thirteen dollars and seventy-one cents. And yeah, I've given up on the, uh, you know, timelines of this. Neat. So yeah, this is actually a tool. It is not. Uh, it is not really electronics related. So. Uh, these are some things that you have to use all the time in the automotive industry, um, but I sort of want to teach classes uh, on this kind of stuff. So I bought some, you know, for when I teach classes and, um, you know, people pay to come to seminars or whatever. I just want to gift them some of these. Um, these are tire tread measurements. So if I put it down, put that down on there, should end up at zero. Yeah right on the zero mark there and so basically what you do is you put it on a tire tread like say like this is the tread block and then the bottom there is the flat part of the rubber and then you go like this and then you read off the 30 seconds so 17 30 seconds of an inch that's a lot of tire uh, in fact most tires they start about uh, 13 for winter tire that's as high as it goes pretty much um, and yeah, it's just basically it's a it's a depth finding tool, right? Just you you find the depth. See, this is at two thirty seconds or so of an inch, so that one's bad. So yeah, I got ten of these um, locally, like off Amazon or um, the you know the big box stores and stuff. Uh, these things are about five to eight dollars each, and then I bought ten for thirteen. Uh, so was this two? Four, six, eight, 
10. Yeah, 10 for 13 bucks. Well worth it for me. I'm going to replace the one I use at work because it's seen better days. Um, the only thing I don't like is this one only has 30 seconds. The one I have at work has uh, 30 seconds and millimeters, so you can measure brake pads with it as well. But yeah, these things are the kinds of things that I need. You know, it's easy to lose these things uh, when it's floating around your toolbox. Now I'll have this uh, kicking around at work. I'll have extras. And if I do decide to put on uh, classes, I'll just give these away in care packages. These are also fantastic gifts. And so, like, if you have non-car people, you just say, yeah, just, you know, shove this in the tread blocks of your car and you'll know how much uh, life is left on your tires in case the people in the uh, shop are, are lying to you. So, yeah, 10 for uh, 13 bucks to me, that's a steal. And so that's it. That's all for today's mailbag video. Hope you enjoyed. I hope you kind of see where I'm heading in the future for this. Um, if you want to hang out with me, uh, twice a week, basically, uh, Monday mornings, uh, twitch.tv slash simpleelectronicsyt, and Thursday afternoons, uh, evening-ish, um, on the SE Made a Stream channel. Make sure you guys check me there. The uh, gaming streams on Twitch will be put onto SE Con Dairy, my secondary channel. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed what you saw here. And a special thanks, as always, to my Patreon patrons, who are the reason why I'm able to buy all of these things and make cool stuff. Thanks for watching.